Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is for anybody with any kind of textured hair wavy, curly, frizzy, whatever it may be. Anybody, I mean, if you have pin straight hair, you can stay too. You can just watch, it's fine. Basically, my hair falls somewhere in between curly, wavy, frizzy, and I've never really been able to find a home for it my entire life, really categorizing what my hair is. So I always kinda lean toward curly girl products because those products help with the frizz and they help with the hydration and all of that good stuff. I was using Diva Curl for a while, and then I started hearing that Diva Curl was making people lose their hair and if you guys are familiar with my hair journey, I don't need any of that. So uh, then I went on to Function of Beauty because I kept seeing a bunch of different ads for Function of Beauty all over social media and there were a few influencers on YouTube that were talking about how great it is. So I was like, you know what? I'll give this a try. Came in the mail, liked it at first because I loved the eucalyptus scent and all that stuff that I was able to customize and pick. And then I started hearing that they were, like people were saying that Function of Beauty was causing hair loss too. So I was like, can a girl catch a break. And a lot of hair care products out there are insanely expensive. Like I love the Kerastase line, but that's like, you're really breaking the bank with Kerastase. Usually around Christmas time, they release like gift sets. So I'll usually buy that because you get more value for your dollar. But in terms of continuously restocking Kerastase, unless there's a Sephora sale or something. I'm generally not going towards that because it's pretty expensive. So in my hair journey of my hair falling out and my hair just not being the quality that I wanted it to be, I discovered Curlsmith. And I gotta say, as of now, this video is not sponsored whatsoever, um, but as of now, Curlsmith is probably my favorite hair care line and I'm gonna get into everything that I'm using on my current journey. I have my hair up today. I didn't really feel the need to put it down and show you guys because my hair is not curly curly. It's just like textured wavy, you know what I mean? So I'm, it, I mean, it's shinier, it's softer, but I didn't feel the need to like have it down and show you guys, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, let's get into this video. A little bit of a backstory on my hair journey, my hair, um, I used to have thick, really beautiful hair when I was younger and I never appreciated it. I always wanted thin hair because I wanted to be Avril Lavigne. Um, I just like, I envied her pin straight hair. I'm Middle Eastern, I don't have pin straight hair. So what I would do is I would literally take a clothing iron and I would have an oven mitt on one hand and a clothing iron on another and I would straighten my hair with it. Nothing in between, just hair on the clothing iron fried it, absolutely fried it. And then from there, I started getting into dyeing my hair. So I had red hair for a while. I had like blonde balayage for a while. Um, I, in my bedroom at my parents' house, bleached my hair and put, tried to put pink highlights in and blue highlights with Manic Panic. It looked awful, it was not good, but basically I just, really went to town on my hair. I did not give it a break. And then back in 2018, I started noticing that I was having a lot of hair loss. And that is currently a journey that I'm trying to figure out um, in terms of do I have an autoimmune condition or is it stress? So that is, if you guys wanna know more about that, I will link those videos down below in the description box. But throughout this journey, I uh, started really kind of trying to get my hair back to what it was, a little more natural, giving it a bit of a break. So what I like about Curlsmith products is that they're vegan, they're cruelty free. The ingredients that you're seeing on the bottle are ingredients that you recognize and you feel good about using. And I know that if you're not somebody that has been very in tune with what your hair needs, because I, w when it comes to hair, I have no knowledge about it whatsoever. Curlsmith has a quiz on their website, so you can go into everything from uh, how often you wash your hair, texture of your hair, how you like to wear your hair if you don't want it to, if you like like more soft romantic waves or if you like more of a crunch to it, if you want a strong hold. So they ask you all those questions and they really customize the quiz for you so that at the end your results will show you exactly what you need for your hair. So I did that and I'm gonna go over what my products are and I've been using them for about a couple months now and I have to say, 
it has made a huge difference with my hair. So the first two things that I use are shampoo and conditioner, and I'm using the Vivid Tones Vibrancy Shampoo and the Glow Perfecting Conditioner. These two are safe for color-treated hair. I don't have color-treated hair, but they're also good for dry or damaged hair, and Lord knows that I damaged my hair over the years, and it's always been very, very dry. One thing that I learned is when your hair gets really frizzy in the humidity, it's because the follicle is actually suffocating from all the silicones and everything that are in your hair care products. So when you use something that really cleanses the hair and really hydrates it and nourishes it, your hair is getting that drink that it needs so that when it's humid out, it doesn't bunch up looking for a little bit of quench to its thirst. That was a weird sentence, but I'm gonna stick with it. This helps break down like product buildup on your scalp, um, product buildup on your hair. So again, it is hydrating that hair right at the follicle, right in that hair, giving it that drink that it needs. So one, you're getting that hydration and that silky look. Two, it's not getting super frizzy in the humidity. And three, who doesn't want healthy hydrated hair? And it smells amazing. It has lemons in it. And on the back it says, lemons are incredibly rich in hair benefits. Their juice helps to clarify and absorb excess oil on the scalp, ensuring that buildup and dirt are thoroughly melted away. And also pineapple is extremely rich in vitamins and antioxidants. It helps keep the hair soft and shiny. Plus it helps deliver nourishing moisture and rehydrate dry, tired hair. That's exactly what I needed and that's exactly what I got with this shampoo and conditioner. So I wash my hair about twice a week. Uh, that's how often I feel like it needs like a good wash. It gets pretty oily. It used to be once a week, now it's, I don't know, my hair type is changing. Anyways, twice a week. So once a week, I'll just do the shampoo and conditioner and then the other time that I wash my hair, I will go in at I will go in with the Curlsmith Hydro Cream Soothing Mask. So uh, this is a deep conditioning treatment, which if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, you might not like this very much. It's not something that you can put on for a minute or two. You have to really let it sit in there. So I'll like wash my hair, everything, and then I'll put this in and then I'll get out of the shower comb it through my hair and then just wait like half an hour, hop back in the shower and wash it out. So if you're somebody that's go, 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 then that's probably not something that you're gonna go for. But if you like to do like a self-care day once a week, then definitely get your hands on this because it really helps nourish, hydrate, and just leaves your hair. Like the, the days that I use this versus the other day a week that I don't, I can definitely see a difference because my hair is just silky. It feels more hydrated and um, it really gets that good quench. This is filled with hyaluronic acid. And as you know, we love hyaluronic acid for our skin because it packs that hydration punch and it's the same for your hair. Once I'm done washing my hair, I need to go in with products. If you are somebody that has textured hair, you know how important it it is to have the right products for your hair. Something that doesn't leave it too crunchy, doesn't leave it too built up, something that's a little more lightweight. That's what I personally like. I like that softer look. So I like to go in with the Weightless Air Dry Cream. What's great about this is it's a leave-in conditioner. It doesn't make your hair feel built up. It doesn't make it feel oily or greasy. And you really don't feel it once you like blow your hair out, style your hair. You don't feel like that filmy feeling of it or filmy feeling of products you know what I mean so you really only need like a little drop of this and then a technique that I use is the praying hands method so I won't put it at my roots I'll start like halfway and then I'll like kind of work it down to my ends and then just kind of really work it into my hair with like the praying hands method and then that way it ensures that every strand is getting that product on it and that you're evenly evenly distributing it. I'm drinking a coffee right now, so I feel like I'm talking very quickly. I just need to slow it down a little bit. The last product that I use in terms of styling is the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. Let me tell you that I was very nervous to use this because for anybody that lived through the early 2000s, remember the days where you would get out of the shower, crunch your hair with a ton of gel, straighten your bangs and you'd be good to go out the door. When I first saw gel, I was like, I ooh, I don't, I'm, I'm not into that look anymore. Like we've moved on from that look and I hope we never go back to it. But I read the reviews. Everybody said it was super lightweight and it doesn't leave your hair crunchy. So I was like, you know what? I'll try it out, whatever. 
it's for science. And I'm so glad that I did. Little bit of this goes a long, long way. It's not a crunchy gel. It's a gel that just gives you hold, but it's soft at the same time. So after I go in with my weightless, uh, what's it called again? Weightless air dry cream. I'm really, I'm really killing it today. Um, I'll go in with a little bit of this and I'll just kind of crunch my hair and leave it for a couple minutes just to air dry before I go in with my diffuser and it really makes all the difference in really holding that style together. So this gel has a hyaluronic acid, green tea brew, thyme leaf oil, white cedar, mashed amla, and lavender flowers. If you are intimidated by gel because you've had bad experiences in the early 2000s, we've all been there. I understand we can start a support group together, but this will not leave your hair crunchy. I promise you. It'll just leave your style going for as long as you need it to. That's what I use in terms of styling my hair. And then I'll just go in with a diffuser. And then after I diffuse my hair and it's nice and curly, then I'll go in with a little bit of uh, Kerastase oil. I shouldn't say curly because I have a video that I uploaded years ago about curling my hair or using a diffuser and I mentioned that my hair was curly and I got so many comments like you don't have curly hair you blah 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 your hair is this 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 is I know it's not curly curly it's like it's textured it's wavy curly is just easier to say I'll start saying wavy from now on okay so last but not least is a product that I'm most excited about so as I had mentioned before I did go through a bit of a hair loss journey and I am trying to figure out what is going on there so um, my first doctor had said that it was a vitamin D deficiency and then I got a second opinion and they said no it's probably autoimmune related I just had my second follow up with the rheumatologist, the autoimmune specialist, who said that I did have positive markers for um, an autoimmune condition, but because I don't have many of the physical symptoms, they're chalking it up to many women have positive markers for, for autoimmune conditions, but don't actually have the condition. So I have to follow up with him every six months just to make sure that my levels aren't going up or anything. But as of now, they're saying that I'm likely fine. In the meantime, I started taking the Curlsmith Ultimate Lengths 30 Day Therapy Vitamins. This has made such a difference with my hair. So um, I initially saw Kathleen Lights talking about this and she was saying in her video how after a few weeks, she started noticing hair, like little baby hairs coming in and then th that her hair is like the longest that it's been in a while. So I was like, you know what? It's not gonna hurt, I'll give it a try. This has uh, keratin, biotin, collagen, amla fruit, alpha lip lipoic acid, goji fruit, Foti root, a lot of things I can't pronounce, but this has a lot of things that are essentially really good for your hair and skin. And um, I, so I started noticing after like a month-ish of using this that I was getting so many little baby hairs and it was actually kind of cute because they would not, like I would put my hair in a ponytail and it looked like I was electrocuted because I had so many little baby hairs just coming in everywhere. And I say cute because I'm never going to use negative words in terms of my hair again after seeing how bad it had gotten. I'm just gonna be grateful that, uh, anyways, th th that's a whole thing that I'll get into maybe another day. But anyways, so um, I am now on month three of taking these and they say that you'll see the full effects after three months and let me tell you my hair like it used to be very thin in the front and it's filled in completely in the back i'm still working on it i don't really want to show you guys that because i am still a little self-conscious about it but maybe i can do just a review video after i finish three months of this if that's something that you guys want to see let me know in the comments but i am really noticing some new growth coming in and i am so 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 excited about that so you take two of these every single night consult your doctor before taking any new vitamins but i take two of these every single night before bed and yeah, I've really noticed a huge difference. And one thing is that um, when I was researching hair supplements, there are two things that people complain about. I have a friend who was taking hair supplements and she said that hair started growing thicker all over her body, but not her head. 
So I was like, okay, that's not something that I want to deal with. And then other people were saying that it really upsets your stomach. But I can tell you, I have a very sensitive stomach and these do not upset my stomach. And I have had no issue with hair other than my, it's only growing on my head, so. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it for me today. Have you guys used Curlsmith products before? And if you have, what did you think of them? Did you really like any products or really hate any products? How did they work for you? Let's talk about it down below and let's talk about other products for textured hair that really, really work for you because that's always something that I am curious about and I wanna know about. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know, leave me a thumbs up. And until next time, Love you guys. I'll see you later.